So when friends or family ask, you know, what do you do at P&G? I tell them I work on sustainability. And, and sometimes they just go, okay, fine. And, and, but sometimes they'll ask more. And I just tell them I'm basically P&G's garbage man. When we started this work, we got very closely tied to, it's gotta be good for both the, the earth and it's gotta be good for P&G. So I want two greens, the sustainability leg and the cash leg. It's gotta make sense for both. In Latin America, they had a 37% recycling rate. And the big issue they had was in the Apizaco plant, we were landfilling 80,000 tons of material every year. The challenge was landfilling costs in Mexico are extremely cheap. And so we had to find a solution that would offset a very small cost, provide some financial benefit, and it was really sludge. We were able to take some into a heating uh, and a kiln and get some caloric value back out of it. But the coolest story of all was we went to a very small family-owned business and they made roofing tiles out of it. By drying these things out in the Mexican sun, they would then corrugate them and then put tar on them and then put them on the top of roofs on houses. And we took 80,000 tons out in Apizacos and now it's a zero waste to landfill site. In March of 2012, we got a phone call from the Walmart team. They had a bunch of baby diapers that Walmart wasn't interested in, so they called GARP and said, can you get these out of the warehouse because we're spending money to store something that nobody wants. We moved 30 trucks in two days. Two months later, I was on a, a medical mission with Matthew 25 down in Haiti, and we were doing a tour of one of the orphanage warehouses. And in that warehouse, the baby diapers were there. I got to meet the woman who ran the warehouse, and she told us what an impact those diapers have on young children in Haiti, and I was really proud. Uh, that's the kind of work we get to do. I've been very pleasantly surprised at how this program has grown. We've reduced solid waste in the company by 70% since 2010. In the first fiscal year, we saved $31 million. This year, we're gonna save about $310 million. The growth of it is just amazing to me. p and is working very hard to be, provide the best sustainable products and to make sure that we run our businesses in the most sustainable fashion. But as I came into the role, I was not a tree hugger. I was not a big sustainability uh, advocate, but as I see what's going on and I learn more and more, it's very clear if we don't do something, we have some major issues. One of the really neat things about sustainability is the breadth of what it can be involved in. And so GARP has got one of those opportunities where we touch so many different areas of the company. That's a really cool opportunity. I tell folks I have the best job in the company and I would defy anybody to prove me wrong.